What is up guys and welcome to another episode of Tyler's Real Fishing. Today I'm going to show you guys how bass react to actual forage, actual predators, um, especially on beds. And so today we're on Lady Bird Lake again just like we were in the last videos. And so I went and picked up some live crawfish and so I'm going to show you guys what we got right now. We got, uh, which crawfish should we use? Let's use, oh my. We're going to use this guy. As you can see, we got some live crawfish today. Now, this is purely for educational purposes to show you guys how fish react, uh, you know, to an actual crawfish, and that shows you why a crawfish lure works like a jig or a, you know, a pit boss or a, a craw punch dial bait. So, we're gonna hook this baby, and we'll see you guys in a second when we catch it. So, just like last year, this video is going to be completely underwater. Now, these two bass that you see here are on a bed. For those of you who don't know what a bed is, that means that these fish are mating. In the springtime, the fish get up shallow and they mate to produce, you know, the next generation of fish. Now, the bigger fish in the background there is usually the female, and the smaller one is the male. Now, in this shot here, you see my crawfish get dropped into their area, so let's see how they react to it. Now, what you are seeing now is the crawfish on the bed. When a crawfish feels threatened, they'll stick up their claws, just like that, in a defensive position to try to scare away whatever predator is trying to eat them. Now this has seemed to work for the crawfish as the fish showed initial interest and then they both kind of, you know, backed away. As the crawfish crawls away, the fish don't really seem to care, as you guys can see. Now I'm not sure if this is just the way fish react to their prey in certain situations, or if this is just a spawn thing, you know, their minds are just set on spawning and mating. I guess I'll touch on this later in the video. Now in this instance, the crawfish drops in, and something very cool happens. The female immediately takes notice of the crawfish, and then charges in. It seems like she really wants to eat it, but then the male stops her. Repeatedly, actually. It's, it's like he's saying, no. No distractions, we're going to finish mating, and then you can eat. It's kind of funny, actually. So although these fish here are on a bed, I think that my analysis and, and tips that I'm giving you guys can kind of help out in, in other areas of bass fishing. For instance, if you flip a jig to a dock or a piece of brush and your, your line just takes off, that usually means that there's other fish in the area that are in competition with that fish and they're trying to take the bait out of his mouth. So I think that can be applied to these two fish because, you know, it kind of looks like they're, they're in competition with each other to get the crawfish, even though I think they're just, you know, in the, in the spawning mood and they just want to get it off the bed. But keep that in mind as we, you know, go throughout the rest of the video that these spawn tips could be applied um, to other types of fishing uh, when you're looking at predator-prey relationships. Now this bass here is a single male on a bed. His female probably already spawned out, so he is all alone protecting the eggs. You can think of him also in a different sense as a single fish just roaming a shoreline. Now the crawfish is dropped on his bed, and instead of eating it, it knocks it off the bed as if to stun it or steer it away. In this scenario, the fish could care less about eating it, it just wants to get it out of its way. If you guys have ever had a bite and then set the hook and there was nothing there, that's probably what this fish has done. Just, you know, bumped into it to check it out. Richie's going in with the freshwater lobster. Yeah, buddy. There's a nice fish on the bed. You guys can see it right over there. There's a camera in the water and there's the fish. It's absolutely bonkers. That makes zero sense. Oh, he did his claws up. Yeah, every time he puts the claws up, the bass just kind of backs away. Dude. I have seriously caught bass in live crops before. Maybe in the spawn they have a different mentality. So what you guys are seeing right now is that these fish are actually afraid of the crawfish. You know, the, the, the purpose of this video was to kind of show you guys how bass react to their forage. And right now the bass isn't even reacting to it. So I don't know if it's a spawn thing, if they don't even care about crawfish, maybe they only care about sunfish, stuff like that. So, you know, crawfish baits definitely work. But maybe you don't want a realistic crawfish bait on a bed. Maybe you want, you know, a bait like a white tube or a white craw that sticks out. Because obviously when they stick up those claws, that bass gets scared. Watch. Five, 
four, three, two, one. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. This fish is slightly better than I thought. Let's go. Let's go. On the fluke, baby. On a bed. And she she sucked it in and out about four times, as you guys saw there. Probably show it in slow motion. But good fish on the on the fluke for sure. Nice. Oh man. Whew. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope that it taught you something about bass and their prey. I know that this was an experiment done on spawning fish, but I think the things that we saw can be applied to regular bass as well. You know crawfish baits definitely work, but you know what I saw today is that maybe during the spawn is not the best times to use them. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below, I really want to hear y'all's analysis. Until next time, keep it real bros.